what's up you guys welcome back um it's been a little while since we did a vlog um first things first welcome back to the channel um if you're searching for hoa items not today again not for a little while just need a breather but anyways i'm talking about something that's much more exciting it's been some time since i did a vlog about my tesla my model s uh, for those that don't know, I have a Model S, and I did get the uh, you know the fastest version of Plaid because I like fast cars. Uh, but one of the things that always bother me bothers me with regards to the Tesla is the FSD. I have been a user of full self driving since 2019 with my initial purchase of a Tesla, the Model Three. And let me tell you, uh, first of all, with that car back then, I never really got the full self-driving. It was more like a fancy cruise control. But now, um, throughout time, starting with like my Model X when I had it like in the 2021, 2022-ish, that's when the full self-driving really started to be delivered to the customers. It took Elon years to get there, but anyways, so I'm here to talk about, like I showed you earlier, that 12.5.1.5. Um, I'm going to tell you, it's really good. I know my son, Justin, said, ah, it's nothing more than the fact that you just don't have to touch the wheel anymore. Yes, as long as your eyes are focused forward and, and paying attention, the camera here, you know, up here near the rear view cam rear view camera, uh, it will it will just allow you not have to touch the steering wheel anymore. So whatever contraption that you might have been using for some of you out there that was using to, to for say, deter from uh, touch um, sensitivity with regards to acknowledging that you're driving, those things are, are, are things of the past unless something somebody does, just does something really wrong. But those are the things of the past. What I would say is that there's tons of there are tons of videos out there um, demonstrating this 12.5.1.5 version out there. Um, let's make it easy to say 12.5 because that's the true first first version that you really do not have to touch the steering wheel anymore. And I usually drive about 15 to 20 minutes to work, depending on traffic. And yes, you will uh, my drive. Some of you guys have watched the vlogs that I do have to take the freeway. And let me share with you that I literally did not have to touch the steering wheel and it was able to merge heavy highway traffic in the Southern California area without touching it. And it took, it, it, literally, it literally drove 95 to 98% of the time. Uh, why the last 2%? So when I come out of com my community, because the community roads, roads are recognized very well, so that little needed a little bit of guidance. So I drove that part. But as soon as I got to a main road, I hit self-driving, took over. From there, it went all the way through to where? My worked parking lot. Again, because they're private roads, it's not really public. Well, the car knows how to, for say, hover towards that direction and go into the parking lot. I just didn't have enough trust yet as I was getting comfortable with 12.5. Phenomenal. I I'm going to tell you that um, it it's really a, a good FSD. Does it does that? Does It does not mean that it doesn't have its faults. Um, what I would say is I have not experienced the phantom braking. Phantom braking was notorious through the various versions of FSD. This time, it, it did not. Uh, I haven't experienced that. One of the big pet peeves that I did experience, which is pretty negative, is in California, there's these, um, when you merge onto the freeway, there are uh, stoplights to traffic control. Depending on the hours of the day, those things become active or not. It did not have a good time sensing that. What I mean is, is that there were like two days it recognized it, it, it did stop the car, but there, were, there was literally a day where even though the light was red, it just went right through it. Now, is it a huge deal? Yes, it is a traffic violation and also a safety issue. So that is a huge issue. But if there's not like any cars around you, you yes, you ran a red light. It's still not a good thing, but I'm just saying that um, that's something Tesla really need to work on 
um, for that. But otherwise, it's not perfect, but it's very, very good. And what I will continue saying to you is that you have to drive. You are still the driver, no matter how, you know, how, how, how comfortable you feel with these types of software for a vehicle, you're still driving the car. Uh, you're liable for it, period. So pay attention to the road, keep your eyes for it. A couple other things is that if you, as soon as you, you, I guess you touch the center console where the interface is, it's going to say, hey, pay attention to the road. Uh, as soon as it detects, the camera detects you like having your eyes off or even if you had a passenger next to you, you start looking at the passenger and starts to, it would say pay attention to the road and, and things of that nature. Phones, phones and watches. Absolutely. As soon as you pick up a a, uh, a phone, it, it say, hey, pay attention to the road, the red flashing. And same thing as you start fun, you know, fumbling with your watch. It would do all that stuff. So it, it, it's, it's a really really forward good step uh, i appreciate the the forward progression of it um you know it is taking this, this time which is really good that's a good thing it's not a bad thing um other than that i'll keep you updated on the fsd as it continues to evolve um do note that from my understanding there's a version that's only the version of 12.5 as of this today today's labor day it's only available for Model X and Model S's. My, that's my understanding. I haven't seen it come across the board for everybody else yet. So Model 3's and Model Y's, um, it's not available yet. They're still on the 12.3. Uh, like my, my, my other Tesla, the Model Y, um, it's not ready yet. It, 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 then again, it just depends on when Elon and the team wants to, per se, over the air, uh, you know, OTA distribute to everyone, right? So it's not quite ready for masses. It for the Model Three, Model Y, that is. My understanding, the Model uh, X and Model S's, everyone's starting to get them. I mean, it, it just across the board. I, I I received it a good a week and a half ago uh, ago. So I, I was I would say I wasn't the first adapters, but I was an early adapter, which is really cool. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. And, and, and you know it's so it's, it's good software uh, additional highlight with regards to um the tesla uh, if you notice earlier i plugged in my charger that is an updated charger now and i also flashed it i am now running thankfully 48 amps and let me share with you all for those that own a Tesla that's capable of charging at 48 amps at your house, uh, do it. Spend the money. It is a life changer, um, especially for a, a battery of this size. It just, it, it's really, it, it's, it's the next, it's really the next best thing to a supercharger, which is a supercharger station that I'm speaking of, like level three. I, I, I enjoy it a lot. 48 amp, it, it's a big step up from 32 amps. It really is. Um, you know, I, I would say, I would say that to you. Uh, I don't, I don't think all of the chargers from Tesla can do that. So you have to look at the versions that you have. I upgraded to a third party one because I've been going back and forth so many times in regards to various EVs. Um, I know America is starting to evolve to just the Tesla, uh, adapter standard, but it's just in case, right? In case I get an itch, get something else like a Hummer, uh, because they're, the value is just tanking tremendously. Um, you know, who knows, right? If, if the value comp, um, uh, you know, value equation works out, it, it's not a, it's not a, you know, it's not a, it's not a bad idea for for someone to look at it. But anyways, um, so keep that in mind. There's various versions of chargers out there, but 48 amps right now in your house, game changer. Yes, you will have to get it uh, rewired. Chances are depending on your electrical box. But anyways, um, one last thing, I, I promise not much about, not anything about HOA, but I do have to address that uh, for the individuals um, that has reached out to me, I really do appreciate your support. I really do. Um, the, the HOA content has to slow down from my perspective for me to get some sanity. There are things that's going on in the community. There is, but you know, I would say that stay posted 
not just because I want you to continue watching my channel, but stay posted and let's see what develops and let's see what I can disclose or what I want to disclose. Um, you know, I, I think for a while there, it, it got to be a little bit more about spreading and, and I don't want to go down that route. That's not what, what this channel and this, this, this thing is about. I would take certain episodes to do that, but it, it's not, I, I don't want to, that's not my goal. My goal is about sharing content and things that makes your life, um, you know, a value per se. And then some of the funner things, like for the people that drives cars, um, and other electronic gadgets, but until that time comes, Hey, Thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned. Tesla, not a bad job. Peace out. Take care.